morning ladies and gentlemen um i want to come your way this early morning being the um 18th of june 2024 at 8:45 i want to come your way to make some comments on the happenings in grant uh, uh, community grant ecosystem especially some of these uh, v notes that have voiced out negative venoms on the people of agpgn especially the recent voiced out by bishop t angbara <laughs> which is the most heartbreaking comment of somebody who have attained the title of the bishop i don't want to begin to give you or lay down or read out the qualification of somebody who called himself a bishop in the bible it is laid down properly so first timothy chapter 3 have explained the quality of someone who called himself a bishop they mention somebody who is of a good report somebody who is blameless somebody who is not giving to double tongue somebody who is not a striker somebody who is uh, well behaved but um, what i see currently in the happenings of a uh, grand community is quite pathetic if these persons who have these clergy titles actually attain this quality before they assume the offices uh, uh, several offices they belong currently especially especially somebody like bishop angbara who comes outside the grand community quote bible say many things in the scripture and don't again to defend fallacy, falsehood, something, something and somebody of evil report. This is quite pathetic and heartbreaking from my experience in grand community. I want to also make it clear that we have gone the way of mammon in grand community. We have gone following our own greed, pursuing selfishness aiming to achieve personal interests as against collective or humanistic interests. Bishop D. Angbara, I have respected you in grand community. In fact, when I hear your voice, when I hear your voice in grand community, I am moved having this, the, the, the reflection of somebody my feelings suggest to me that somebody who has read the Bible, who has digested the Bible, is talking. And I listen to your word with open heart, Bishop D. Angbara. Bishop D. Angbara, I remember far back when you were in, you were in um, Theobat. You saw the happenings of Theobat. And you voice out against Tubat because of the deceitfulness of Tubat. I remember back, you even sang a song that I will never forget. You said this song, you sang this song this way Keep me stand, keep me standing, Lord, keep me standing, Lord, in all I do and say that the world may see christ live in me and i may love him too bishop indi angbara this is the song you sang in grand community i was moved by this song this song gave me i will never forget you with this song but bishop d angbara with what is happening today, I want to ask you, Bishop D. Angbara, are you still standing for the truth? 
are you still on that ground on that position you were when you had nothing and then you were depending on Tiobat? are you still in that position are you still standing what is the world saying about you according to that song you sang bishop d angbara to be to be honest with you bishop i am quite disappointed and heartbreaking especially for the kind of comment you come to grand community to voice out this is unlike of you i feel something has gone wrong and it is good i tell you bishop d angara you were in the meeting the ngo's meeting three days ago you were in that meeting and when it was time for you to speak bishop d angara you made some comment that i call myself and i, I ask myself some certain question i wish I could ask you this question. Questions like you said, you told, you said Ken, that God has ordained Ken to deliver this mandate of grant. Bishop D. Angwara, were you there when God ordained Ken? Were you there? Did God tell you that He ordained somebody like Ken to deliver grants to the community? What convinced you in your spirit? that God actually ordained Ken to deliver grant to the community. What informed you? What evidence did you have? If God ordained Ken to deliver grant to the community, will he not give Ken, Ken a grant? Will he not help Ken to source out for grants? Will Ken's name just magically appear? on grant documents that he didn't apply for will can one steal somebody's mandate and come and claim a grant for himself bishop indi angbara you're supposed to ask yourself this mandate ken can i see the document where your name is till today not even agpgn not even anybody that is fronting Ken's um, claim of having documents. You could even hear from other people that they have never seen the document where Ken's name is. You even heard from other people that Ken was invited. They have gone to National Assembly to even bring out the document where Ken's name is. They could not produce any. Ken in his own mouth say, they say my name is in a document and i am now facilitating a grant because they say is it angels that say that even if an angel say that there should be an evidence to that up till now that we are about disbursing the grants we have not even seen the document where your name is even if it's an angel that said that that angel should have provided it show it to the grant community so that we will we will back up that idea that yes this grant belongs to ken bishop d angara up till now there was nothing like that even the the agpgn that was fronting the idea that they saw ken name in the document came back to say no this thing was just ideology this isn't what, what was we were told to say we have no evidence to that up till this very moment Bishop D. Angbara, did you ask all those questions when you say that God ordained Ken to deliver that grant? Did you ask this? Did you ask this question? It is it is disappointing to me. It is it is I'm disappointed, especially when our leader are blind, our bishop, our pastors are blind. They are dumb dogs. They are blind. Is 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 disheartening. It shows that there is no hope for the church under their leadership. Bishop D. Angbara, I am heartbreaking. I must tell you, I am heartbreaking of your representative your representation of Ken in this grand community. Not because 
what you did is wrong most of the things you did in the grand community i don't have issue with that but the issue that you are fronting opposed to Ken is my heartbreaking experience because you know Tepelcom. you know what ken did in Tepelcom. you know what ken did in sam you know what ken is doing in uah coming to this to the media space to say that he didn't collect money bishop d angara you had that i paid money to ken directly to sanctuary wells i gave ken money so how will you be promoting somebody who mouth is garnished with lies he didn't collect money from he said that in the open space he didn't collect money from from anybody only loan and you know it is a lie secondly i want to ask you bishop de angara did you ask ken this competition he has with agpn is that his grant is that the uaag grant i am asking you bishop de angara this grant that he is contesting fighting for position fighting for ownership is that the uaag grant if this is the uaag grant what connection has that grant with saint rita that he claimed that the document of that grant was that of mama rita which he inherited what connection has this grant that agpgn is fronting what connection does he have with that of mama rita ask him those questions Ask Ken those questions. These are the questions our clergymen are supposed to find out. Not somebody promising you um, 100 bundles. Some, somebody promising you 50 bundles. Somebody promising you 1,000 bundles. And then you deaden your conscience. You became blind to reality. I'm going to fight for that person's interest. Do you think if Ken disappoints you to, tomorrow, you have anything to hold Ken with? Ken is coming coming to the public space to say that I didn't say I, I have a grant. Ken is coming to the public space to say that he didn't say, he didn't tell Nigeria he has a grant. But you told them you want to disburse a grant. You told them you want to disburse a grant. That is say you want to disburse a grant that is not your own. Bishop Deep Angbara. I'm directing this information to you. Evaluate all the happenings. Let me even take you back. Evaluate all the happenings in Grand Community, Bishop D. Angbara. Let me take you back. The genesis of UAAG Grant started from when they claimed Andrew Abdullahi has the mandate. Did you remember all that? And the thing transmogrified into Ken now. Bishop D. Angwara ask question regarding to that. UAAG grant has been packaged with so many, so many levels of lie. And we have pastors, bishop, reverend promoting that lie because they are promising them money, mammon. The spirit of mammon has take, taken over our bishop, our reverend, our pastors. That spirit of mammon. And it's quite heartbreaking that people we respected as bishop, as elder, as reverend, are buying cheaply to this, to this spirit of mammon. I must tell you the truth, Bishop D. Angbara. Retrace your steps look at the happenings in grand community right from ab initio and ask question ken is not a saint ken is not a saint ken is not a saint leave the grand community aside ken is not a saint ken is not a saint Ken is not a saint. 
and it is wrong for you to promote somebody who is ungodly because of personal interest. Wake up, Bishop D. Angvara. You are losing out completely. You are losing an important thing in your life. Your calling has nothing to do with grants. It has nothing to do with promoting grants. You were called when there was no grants. The God who called you when there was no grant should keep you, is able to keep you with or without grant. There is no point selling your bad rights because of grant. Bishop D. Angbara, I must confess to you. Look at the voice you release on innocent um, Abdurazak. And he didn't respond to you. Bishop D. Angbara, couldn't you think again? Couldn't you think? What did he do to you? Bishop D. Ang uh, uh, um, um, Abdul Razak was only facilitating, helping to navigate, to navigate the atrocities of Ken that you don't know. Because he has worked closely, he has promoted Ken. All the people that have promoted Ken in the past, even OCG is not even talking again. Because he's, he is beginning to connect the dots. All the people that have worked for Ken in the past are now coming up against him because they work in honesty and they are now realizing that they were promoting a dishonest person. The other time you came up to say the elders forum, you want to come and blast out Bishop D. Angbara, what happened? What happened? What happened? What did they silence you with? Bishop D. Angara, I must, inform, I must inform you. I am not worthy to tell you what is wrong, but it has gone to the point whereby God has to send a young prophet to an old prophet because this has exceed the breaking point. So I'm coming to tell you, Bishop D. Angara, retrace your step. I will advise you to remove your hand Reevaluate the happenings in grand community, especially in this UAAG claim. Especially, there are some things Ken have said that are contradicting. They are contradicting. They are very. They are, they are contradicting currently. And I don't want to go back to start bringing them up, but I believe you know that some of the things Ken said before. <clears throat> and and what is what is happening now? They don't align at all. And I expect you as an elderly man, somebody who have the eyes, who is working with the spirit of God, who have eyes of understanding, to look at this thing too. <clears throat> Forget about the money. Look at the process. Look at how it all started before you consider the money, so that you will not end up promoting a criminal in ignorance. Because there's no place for there's no excuse for ignorance. Retrace your step, reconsider and evaluate all the things that are going on in grand community and make your own deduction. Don't be misled. Don't be misled. Your respect is dwindling, and people are beginning to see you from the eyes of somebody who is overtaken by the spirit of mammon. I rest my case here. Thank you.